Hi, today I'm here to teach you how to make gingerbread man cookies. So first, I'm going to sift together all of the dry ingredients. We have three and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm gonna sift it on a parchment paper. So when I put it inside of the standing mixer, it's easier to pour in. So first I'm gonna put the flour. Sift it together gently so it doesn't go everywhere. Push any residue through. And then I'm gonna move on to the wet ingredients. So now I'm going to mix together the wet ingredients. First, I'm going to add a stick and a half of room temperature butter, unsalted. You don't wanna get the salted ones because you wanna be able to control the salt in your recipes. So cream that. Once that is creamed, you're gonna add half a cup of packed dark brown sugar. And you're going to cream those together. Now once that's incorporated, I'm going to add half a cup of molasses and one egg. On like medium high, a medium, medium mixing. Now I'm gonna lower it to really low speed and I'm going to put in the dry ingredients. I'm gonna funnel it in with the parchment paper slowly. Otherwise it's gonna make a huge mess all over your kitchen. For the last part, you're gonna actually want to mix it all with your hands. So I'm gonna take this off. So once it's all incorporated, you're gonna get out some clean wrap, some saran wrap, and you're, you're gonna break this into two and put it in the refrigerator for like an hour, maybe three hours. Form it into whatever shape you like. I'm gonna go with the square. Press it down, wrap it up, and then you're gonna put it in the refrigerator. So the dough was in the refrigerator for several, out, several hours and I took it out and it's been resting kind of to a warm, you know, for five minutes, just so it's rollable. Um, so I'm gonna roll it. Lightly flour the surface. I'm gonna keep the saran wrap on the top um, so it doesn't stick onto the rolling pin. Sometimes it causes a problem. Turn it when you're rolling it so it's even at the end. You're gonna roll it out to about an eighth of an inch. And I have here a little gingerbread man cookie cutter from my childhood. My parents still had it. You're gonna press down and little, wiggle it a little bit so that it separates from the extra dough. And you're gonna place them on an ungreased cookie sheet like little soldiers. So once you have the little men on your cookie sheet, you're gonna put it in an oven of 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. So after the gingerbread men have been in the oven for eight to 10 minutes, it's time to take them out. 
and cool them on a rack. Something that's above the counter so air can circulate the whole pan. Let them cool for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So after cooling, they're all done and you could either take a big bite of them now or decorate them. And that's how you make gingerbread men. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see me cook anything else, send us an email at request at mahalo.com or watch any of these other videos.